Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're breaking down the four major ways you can fine-tune an LLM in a way that hopefully makes perfect sense. Let's dive in. 1. Soft prompting or prompt tuning. First up, we have soft prompting, sometimes called prompt tuning. Now, imagine the huge LLM with its billions of internal settings, we call these, weights. Soft prompting is like saying, okay, we're not going to touch any of those billions of settings. Instead, we learn a tiny, special string of numbers, a small, vector, that we just add to the very beginning of your input every single time. Think of it as learning the perfect, intro, phrase or a special, context boost that tells the frozen model how to interpret the rest of your prompt for the new task. When to use this? If you have limited data, a really tight budget, or you're using a model you don't actually control, soft prompting is your go-to. 2. Feature-based fine-tuning, linear probe. Next, we have feature-based fine-tuning. This one's a bit different. Imagine the LLM is like a machine that processes your text and pulls out all the important underlying ideas or features. In this method, we freeze the main part of that machine, the backbone, so it doesn't change. We then pass all our specific data through it once. As the data goes through, we capture those rich, hidden features that the model extracts at a certain layer. Then, we add a small, lightweight head on top, usually just a simple layer of connections, like a linear layer. We train only this tiny new head to take those captured features and map them to the specific outputs we want, like classifying text into categories, ranking items, or giving a score. Why use this? It's incredibly fast and efficient to train just that small head. It's perfect when speed and simplicity are more important than getting every single bit of potential accuracy out of the model. Great for building quick classifiers or scorers. 3. LoRa, Low Rank Adapters. Now, let's talk about LoRa, which stands for Low Rank Adapters. This is one of the most popular methods right now. LoRa takes a different approach. It doesn't touch the main, frozen weights of the big model either. Instead, it inserts tiny pairs of matrices, these are called adapters, into each block of the model's internal structure, specifically, the transformer blocks. When you fine-tune, you only train the weights within these tiny adapter matrices. The main model's large weights, which are often stored in a memory-hungry format like Float 16, stay completely frozen. This keeps memory usage and computation much lower compared to trying to train the whole model. When is LoRa a good fit? If you have control over the model, meaning you can modify its structure slightly, have access to a mid-range GPU, think 8 to 16 gigabytes of memory, or maybe a bit more, and you need more performance gain than simple prompt methods can give you, LoRa is often the sweet spot. 4. QLoRa, Quantized LoRa. Finally, we have QLoRa. This is like LoRa's super-efficient cousin. QLoRa starts by taking the huge base model and doing something called quantization. It compresses the model's large weights down to a much smaller size, often just 4-bit integers. This dramatically shrinks the model's memory footprint. Then, just like with LoRa, it adds the small adapter matrices on top. And, crucially, you only train these small adapters, just like in LoRa. This amazing trick allows you to fine-tune truly massive models, models with 30 billion parameters or even more, on hardware that would be impossible otherwise, often on a single consumer-grade GPU. Choose QLoRa when? When you have very limited hardware resources, but you want to fine-tune a really large, powerful model. It lets your ambitions for model size be large, even if your GPU isn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.